What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel and more importantly welcome to the fight like a superhero YouTube series and series where I take my nearly 20 years of martial arts experience and break down the fighting styles of some of your favorite characters from TVs, movies, and even video games. Then I give you my suggestion on how you can best mimic their fighting style in real life. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the most dangerous man alive, the Black Panther. Now I went through every single fight scene that Black Panther has in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in slow motion. Basically, I was taking notes the entire time. It literally took me forever to put the whole video together. So I do have one thing to ask. As the new year begins, we all have resolutions and my new year's resolution is to reach 75,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. So please hit me up with that HBO special, that help a brother out special, and drop a like rating and subscribe if you're new around here. But I've wasted enough of your time. Let's get started. When combing through all those fight scenes, I was in incredibly impressed with everything I saw. They did a great job at showcasing not only the skill level of T'Challa, but also how balanced his fighting style actually is. In a world where everyone has a gimmick, it's nice to see some balance. And for those that don't know by balance, I mean the ratio of different techniques used. So with the character of Black Panther, his hands, his feet, elbows, and knees were all used throughout his fighting styles quite successfully. Now, if you do have a little bit of martial arts experience, you're gonna know where I'm going with this, but my first instinct was to just say, oh, he does Muay Thai and call it a day. I mean, there is no other fighting style that mixes hands, feet, knees, and elbows in quite the same way. I mean, it's not called the art of the eight limbs for nothing. But that's only one side of the coin because he seems to mix in some flash and flair when it comes to his kicks. One of the biggest examples being the triple kick that he lands on on Captain America. Captain. Man, I wanna learn that kick so bad. But he does use these flashy moves fairly often, so I decided to add them in. And to add them in, I suggest specking into Taekwondo and even XMA. Both of these styles are famous for their kicks and adding flair to them. XMA is literally designed so that you can make them look as cool as possible. This should give you the ability to pull off some amazing kicks and still hit your target. Now these styles aren't quite enough on their own. You're gonna need to add a little bit of pizzazz. So you're gonna wanna learn parkour and free running. Black Panther flows smoothly from one location to another and one person to another during combat. So getting into the basics of parkour and free running are going to be your go-to. This is actually what allowed him to keep up with Bucky in Civil War. Well, that and the abilities of the Black Panther, but you know, that's besides the point. Outside of his suit and a couple gadgets, he really doesn't rely on weapons like some other Avengers do, like Hawkeye's bow and arrow or Captain America's shield. I'm glad. I don't care. However, in the movie, we see him use traditional weapons when fighting for the throne. So to speak on that, I had to suggest Naguni or Zulu stick fighting. This is a very, very old style of martial art used by the Zulu tribe for sport, ceremonial reasons, and war. I couldn't find out exactly what they used in the movie, but I would be incredibly surprised if this wasn't the exact style. The weapons and ceremonial usage of the style are nearly identical, and it's an African martial arts so I definitely had to add it into your training. Now if you were to spend a couple years mixing all these styles together at the end of the day you should have be able to mimic the style of Black Panther in the MCU very very well. Well at least I hope you do. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and again make sure to hit me up with that HBO special that help a brother out special and check in the description if you want some fight like a superhero merch for yourself. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.